The Universal menu has been updated yet again, but instead of a complete redesign like before, it has a new icon that contains a very important function. Screen Capture. Now anyone with a Gear VR, provided they're on Android 5.0 or later, can easily take screenshots and video within the headset itself. Here's how it works. Whenever you want to take a screen or video, access the Universal menu by holding the back button. Then select Utility and choose whatever option you want. If you select Screenshot, you'll be taken back to where you were, and in 5 seconds, as denoted by the red blinking dot at the top right, an undistorted, single-eye, 1024x1024 screenshot will be saved to your phone. You'll hear the familiar camera shot when it does so. Here are a few screenshots I took myself. They show a graphical fidelity you don't fully perceive when actually wearing the headset, due to the screen door effect. If you choose to take a video, it'll take you back to where you were but begin recording immediately. Going back to the Universal menu, switching apps, or exiting VR mode will cause the recording to stop and save. Much like a screenshot, the output is an undistorted, single-eye, 1024x1024 video. But there's one major drawback. It won't have audio. Due to complications with Android that Oculus is hoping to fix, users are currently unable to record sound with their videos. We'll get back to that in a moment. Here's a segment of a 30 second clip of Gunjack I recorded. It was an 18 megabyte file. And here's what other apps look like. As you can see, the video quality is great and the frame rate is consistently smooth. Downloading your captures to your computer is easy. Just connect your phone and go to the Oculus folder. So, if you do want to have audio to go with your recording, you either need to use an external recording device to record the audio coming out of your phone's speakers, which might not result in the best sound quality, some sort of app you can download that would record the audio from your phone, though it may result in a performance hit while using the headset, or you can try and record a direct feed using a 3.5mm male-to-male stereo cable running from your phone and into your computer using a program like Audacity. I've included a link to the cable I have in the description. This, of course, means your wireless virtual reality headset will have a big wire dangling out of it. Afterward, in whatever editing program you use, you need to try and sync the audio and video as best you can. Also, another issue with the capture function is if you're in an app that doesn't allow you to access the universal menu, like the recently released Social Trivia, you can't use it. This means you also can't capture the universal menu itself with this method. And the capture function only works for apps built against the mobile SDK 1.0.0 or later. This is the message you will see when trying to capture screens or video of something you currently can't, like Adventure Time Magic Man's Head Games or the Jurassic World Apatosaurus experience. So, for now, you may need the slightly janky solutions that people like myself have to use depending on what you want to accomplish, but this is definitely a good step forward.